Most cells that display CD8 become cytotoxic T cells, also known as killer T cells. CD8 T cells recognize foreign antigens when they are presented in conjunction with major histocompatibility complex class 1 molecules. Virtually all nucleated cells in the body, including antigen-presenting cells and lymphocytes, express MHC class 1 molecules. T cells that recognize self-peptides expressed by class 1 major histocompatibility protein on the surface of healthy cells don't survive in the thymus gland. Surviving T cells recognize certain tumor cells that express abnormal proteins, seen as foreign, cells of a tissue transplant that express foreign class 1 MHC, and body cells infected by viruses which have viral antigen on their surface. Binding to an antigen presented by a foreign tumor or viral infected cell is not enough for activation of cytotoxic T cells. Co-stimulation, provided by the close association of molecules on the two cell membranes and by interleukin-2 and other cytokines produced by helper T cells, is needed. Once the cytotoxic cell is activated, it will proliferate into T cell clones, each expressing the receptor of the original cell. Most of these clones differentiate into effector T cells. The receptors on these cells are able to bind to the same antigen as the receptor on the original T cell. Some of the T cell offspring will not become effector cells, but remain as memory T cells, which will respond rapidly upon future exposure to the same antigen. Cytotoxic T cells can eliminate cells that are infected or have become cancerous. They also act against foreign cells in two ways. The first mechanism is perforin-induced cytolysis. Perforin, released by cytotoxic T cells, punctures holes in the target cell membrane, causing the target cell to burst. The second mechanism is lymphotoxin-induced cell death. Lymphotoxin, also secreted by cytotoxic T cells, starts a cascade of events in the target cell, leading to degradation of its DNA 